lot of good reasons to envy birds. They can fly, obviously. If you're a male, you're almost guaranteed to be gorgeous, and they seem to have a knack for meaningful long-term relationships. But now, scientists are finally beginning to understand what the world looks like through birds' eyes, and it's amazing. We've talked before about how birds can see the Earth's magnetic field, but did you know they can also see ultraviolet light? Us humans, we have three kinds of color receptor cells called cones in our eyes for detecting red, blue, and green. Birds have four. That fourth cone lets them see in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum. And it turns out that most birds that we thought looked pretty boring can actually glow like ravers under the right light. Example, the male European blue tit is handsome enough under human visible light, but under UV light, its crown of feathers lights up like a Christmas tree. And it's not just the birds themselves. Lots of things reflect UV light. We just can't see it. The high phosphorus content in urine, for instance, makes it glow vividly in ultraviolet, which is super handy handy for, like, tracking meadow voles if you're a hungry kestrel on the go. But it's not just magnetic fields and extra colors that makes a bird's eye view of the world amazing. Birds also have special fovea. The fovea is the spot in your retina that has the highest resolution. If you're a human, you only have one in each eye, and it's great and all, but it has its limitations. Try this demonstration. Just look at me, cover one eye, and then try to read the words on either side of the screen. It's really hard! That is because your fovea only covers the middle 40 degrees of your visual field, and the greatest concentration of your eye's cones only covers 10 degrees. So while you're looking at me, you can probably see that all the words are there, but you can't actually focus on them, maybe not even read them. Once again, Birds got us beat. Birds of prey actually have two fovea in each eye. This lets their eyes act like cameras that have both a macro lens and a zoom lens. One fovea can let them focus on objects that are far away, while the other zeroes in on fine details that are directly in front of them. Seabirds, meanwhile, have a single large fovea that's a strip instead of just a spot. It runs across their entire retina, so the horizon always stays nice and crisp while they fly. Now here's another demonstration. Look through a small hole in the middle of a note card or piece of paper or maybe just do this. Focus on a source of light behind that hole, like your computer screen, and then jiggle it around just a little bit. In a couple seconds, you'll probably start to see the blood vessels in your eyes, or at least the shadows that your blood vessels are casting on your retina. Even though the level of light reaching your eye never changes, there are rapid, tiny variations in the direction of that light, exactly as might happen to a bird flying through foliage. When this effect occurs, your entire field of vision can become obscured by the shadows of your blood vessels. And if you're zooming down on a mouse at 80 kilometers per hour, it's not a great time for that to happen. So birds have a unique structure in their eyeball called the pectin oculi, which is chock full of blood vessels. This helps give the eye tissues all of the nutrients they need while reducing the need for blood vessels elsewhere in the eye that would block the retina. That keeps their vision super clear, even in fast-changing light conditions. So, they can see more colors than us, those colors look brighter, they can see electromagnetic fields, and their eyes have more camera settings than my phone! Being a bird! Looks pretty good. Thanks for watching this SciShow Dose, especially to our subable subscribers who keep these episodes coming. To find out how you can get an awesome perk like your own SciShow tie, or having your name displayed on one of our episodes, go to subable.com slash SciShow. And if you have any questions or ideas for an episode you'd like to see, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, down in the comments below. And if you want to keep getting smarter with us, you can go to youtube.com slash SciShow and subscribe.